from the book Treat Your Own Chronic Pain, the Chronic Pain Bible for doctors, psychologists and clients. The Story of Clever Hands This is a true story and Clever Hands is a real name. Clever Hans was a horse who lived in Germany in the late 19th and early 20th century. The story of Clever, Clever Hans is just one of many stories that show us that no matter how certain we are of the evidence of our own eyes or our own experience, what we think is happening and even what we believe we absolutely know is happening is not necessarily so. Clever Hands was paraded all over the country, billed as a horse who was skilled at mathematics and spelling, amongst other things. He used hoof tapping to provide answers or would select out letters to spell words. People were amazed at the intelligence of this beautiful horse. Anyway, the German Board of Education created a commission to investigate this seemingly amazing horse. That commission, a group of 13 people, including a veterinarian and other professional people, analysed Clever Hand's performance and con con concluded that no tricks were involved. So you could say that even the experts agreed that Hands could do exactly what was claimed. The task of investigating Clever Hands then went to a comparative biologist and psychologist, Oscar Funkst who applied a scientific and methodical examination. First, he tried testing hands without an audience who might be giving him cues, and also when someone other than his trainer was asking hands to solve maths problems. Hands was perfect, what a horse. Then he tried using blinders to test whether there was any difference in clever hands' accuracy dependent on whether or not he could see the speaker. Lo and behold, Hans was suddenly not at all hot with his answers. Finally, Funkst tested Clever Hans' accuracy when he could see the speaker, but the speaker himself didn't know the answer to the maths problem. Clever Hans was not at all clever with those questions either. For Clever Hans to provide accurate answers, the speaker had to know the answer and also Clever Hans had to be able to see the speaker clearly. Can you guess what was happening? It turned out that the speaker had been unconsciously giving Clever Hands cues to stop and, and start tapping with his hoof. Even the testers had been unknowingly making little movements with their heads that Clever Hands had learned meant to stop or start tapping with his hoof. Even Clever Hands' trainer had no clue that this was the explanation for Clever Hands' apparent performance. Though the myth of Clever Hands had been well and truly debunked, the act continued to travel widely and still drew large amazed crowds who still believed that Clever Hands was clever enough to do math. Now you might be asking me at this stage, what's the harm in that? And in a way I agree, because on the surface it looks fun and entertaining and really was an amazing example of conditioned learning. And from a science perspective, it's actually led to some very important research on human impact on experiments in animal behaviour and has been very useful to improve animal training strategies. But here's the problem with ex accepting stuff on face value or just trusting that what we believe is happening is true. And it's a pretty tragic, harmful, and sometimes even fatal problem. We humans are very easy to fool, and we very frequently fool ourselves because we judge things by comparing what we think is a before and an after. We readily believe that if two things happen together in some kind of sequence of time, that one of those things actually caused the other. We are also massively prone to think if we do something, that something will produce a real result. And we see patterns in things where there are no actual patterns, remaining stubbornly blind to information which doesn't fit the pattern that we expect to see. It's just the way our brains work. And then we are at risk of wasting time, energy, money, hope 
and even life, not only for ourselves but for others as well. Our assumptions and beliefs can keep us stuck, can keep us from trusting real experts and can even be fatal. We see this unfolding right now on the world stage with people listening to quacks and con merchants who are fighting against vaccination and other public health measures. Men, women, children and babies are literally dying now in their droves because of this type of thinking. We have lost over 5 million people and millions more have been permanently disabled and over 98% of continuing harm and death is amongst the unvaccinated. 